you're like most Americans, you probably throw out a lot of paper. You probably maybe even have stacks of newspapers laying around your house. 40% uh, of all trash that most Americans throw away is paper. So if you don't already recycle, today you're going to have the chance to learn how to make recycled paper on your own, reuse this stuff, and make something that you can write on and have some, something cool to have as an end product. Okay, before you get started, you need to gather your materials. You need your safety goggles, a blender, or a smoothie maker like this one will work fine too. You need a wire coat hanger, an old newspaper, a large bowl about this size will be good, nylons, make sure you ask your mom or somebody if you can use them first, an iron, a cutting board, hot water, and paper towels. Now you're going to shred your paper. Um, I have some tips for you. Kind of fold the paper in half and just rip along strips like this. Um, if you do a couple sheets of paper, you'll have plenty to make your recycled paper. My tip is to actually use scissors and cut up like you would with confetti. That way it'll go a lot faster and it, you get smaller pieces that way too than if you ripped it. And you can also do pretty many sheets at once as opposed to ripping, which you can only do a few. Once you have your paper cut up, you're going to dump it into the blender. Okay. And if it's about, you know, a third of the way in the blender, then that's plenty of paper. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and pour in your hot water. You just want enough to cover the paper. So you can see here, my water level comes just about to here, and I'm going to add a little bit more just to make sure it's all wet. Okay. Once I've added the water, you can go ahead and make sure you put the lid on, and then you're going to press high for your blender and get a nice smooth mixture. To make sure you've blended enough, you want to lift it up and take off the lid. And this is a little bit chunky yet, but pretty good. If, if you have about this consistency, you'll have um, smooth enough uh, paper pulp for the rest of the experiment. Okay, now we're going to bend the coat hanger. You may want to have someone else help you with it because it can be a little bit tricky. But I suggest if you're going to do it, um, hold at the top, kind of pull backwards, and you want to try to get it to be as much of a circle shape as you can. And that's like a rough circle, not a great circle, but it'll do. Okay, after you have your circle, you're going to take your nylon and you're actually going to put it on there. Um, just be careful of the hook when you're doing that because you kind of have to hold it under your arm a little bit when you're putting the nylon on. So something like that will work pretty well and then notice I'm just kind of reshaping the filter a little bit. And here is our filter we're going to use for our paper. Once you have your filter fully shaped, you can go ahead and place it over the bowl and you're going to take your mixture from the blender and be careful, pour slowly and evenly across your filter. Okay. And just make sure you hold your filter fairly steady as you're doing this so it doesn't flip off and make a big mess all over your table. Okay, and if you have a little bit clumpy, if you look, mine's a little bit clumpy here. So you can kind of spread it out a little bit with the edge of the blender. And you want to make sure it's not too thick in any spot because your paper is going to not dry well if it's too thick. So I'm going to keep spreading it out a little bit here. You may even want to do it with your finger a little bit here. I'm just going to use my hand to kind of smooth it out and spread it out a little bit so my paper is not too thick when I go to iron it. And that's a key because it'll take a long time to dry if it's not that or very thin. Okay, and once you have your uh, pulp spread fairly evenly, you're going to let it sit for pretty long. You want to let as much water as possible drain off. So just let it sit over the bowl. Um, you can even maybe jiggle it a little bit and some of the water will usually come off then. But you really just want to let it sit for a while. Um, you may even want to take a break and you know work on something else for a little bit. Okay, once you've let the water drain off of your paper pulp, you still keep it on the screen. You're going to take your cutting board. You're going to place the paper towel underneath to soak up some water. Place your filter on top with the paper pulp and another paper towel on top of that. Then you're going to take your iron, which is on a low setting, and you're going to gently move across like this. And pretty much like you're ironing the paper towel. All right, and you probably will get some water come through. Um, in this case, you, don't, you see I don't have much water coming through here, but you probably will because there's going to be some residual water left after you filter. 
All right, it may take a while to thoroughly iron your paper, make sure that it's dry. Um, it's gonna be hot, so be careful when you touch it, uh, but usually you can tell by the color change. If you remember, it was a much darker gray before. So um, here we actually have a much later gray, so it has changed color so we can tell that it's pretty dry. Um, mine has cooled also, so you wanna probably let it cool a little bit, but once you've done that, you wanna carefully lift up the edges and it'll kind of peel away from the filter pretty nicely and you have your finished product of recycled paper. You can write on it.